The Big Mac sold for forty kroners in Norway, and three point five seven dollars in the USA in two thousand and nine. If three point five seven dollars could buy forty kroners in the foreign exchange market, the Big Mac would have cost the American buyers the same in both countries. In other words, the implied exchange rate should be 11.2 kroners per dollar. This implied exchange rate is called the purchasing power parity (PPP) because this implied exchange rate would have equalized the prices of the Big Mac in both countries. But the actual dollar exchange rate in the foreign exchange market was only 6.51 kroners per dollar. So the kroner was actually more expensive in the foreign exchange market than the implied purchasing power parity (PPP). By comparing these two exchange rates, we can get a rough idea of how much the kroner was overvalued. In the foreign exchange market, first subtract the actual exchange rate E from the purchasing power parity (PPP). Then divide this difference by the actual exchange rate E, substituting actual numbers into the formula. We can see that the kroner was 72% overvalued in the foreign exchange market. Compared to the purchasing power parity (PPP), the same formula for computing over or under valuation of foreign currencies can be transformed to compare the Big Mac prices in U.S. dollar. Let's divide the numerator and the denominator of the formula, each by the actual exchange rate E. The transform formula says that we could first convert the kroner price into dollar price using the actual exchange rate E, and divide the dollar price in Norway by the dollar price in the U.S. We can get the same 72% overvaluation of the kroner by subtracting one from the division result. Let's go shopping in selected countries to find the most expensive and the least expensive Big Mac by comparing their prices in U.S. dollar. In 2009, the Big Mac sold for $3.57 in the U.S., $3.69 in Britain, $4.02 in Brazil. Five point nine eight dollars in Switzerland, and six point one five dollars in Norway. So Norway had the most expensive Big Mac in the world. Which country had the least expensive Big Mac? Japan sold its Big Mac for three dollars and forty-six cents. South Korea for two point five nine dollars. Mexico for two point three nine dollars, and China for one point eight three dollars. So China had the least expensive Big Mac in the world. If we divide the local price in dollars by the U.S. price and subtract one from the division result, we have a rough idea of how much the local currencies are over or undervalued. Compared to the implied purchasing power parity, Norway had the most expensive Big Mac because its local currency, the kroner, was overvalued by 72 percent, and China had the least expensive Big Mac because the local currency, the yen, was undervalued by 49 percent. Maybe your next hunger trip should be to China. The actual exchange rate tells us how much foreign currency we can buy with one U.S. dollar.
But if we want to compare whether a domestic item is more or less expensive than a comparable foreign item, we need to compute the real exchange rate. In the case of the Big Mac, we need the actual exchange rate E and the local prices of a Big Mac, say in Norway and the USA. To compute the real exchange rate, first convert the kroner price into U.S. dollar and divide the U.S. dollar price by the Norway dollar price. We see that the Big Mac in the U.S. sold for only 58% of the dollar price in Norway. Alternatively, we can compare the prices in terms of kroner convert the U.S. price into kroner price and divide it by the Norway kroner price. Again, a Big Mac in the U.S. still sold for only 58% of the kroner price in Norway. So it does not matter whether we are comparing dollar prices or kroner prices as long as the domestic price is the numerator. Comparing the price of a domestic item with a foreign item using the same currency is to compute the real exchange rate, E sub R. The real exchange rate, E sub R, tells us how much a domestic item is worth compared to a similar foreign item. If the real exchange rate is less than 1, the domestic item is less expensive. If the real exchange rate is more than 1, the domestic item is more expensive. Substituting mass symbol into the formula and taking the reciprocals on both sides of the equations, and multiplying both sides by the actual exchange rate E, we can see that dividing the actual exchange rate E by the real exchange rate E sub R is equivalent to computing the purchasing power parity, PPP. Let's substitute some numbers into the equation. E is 6.51 kroner per dollar. E sub R is 0.58. Norway kroner price is 40. USA price is 3.57. The end result is 11.2 kroner per dollar, exactly equal to the PPP we compute earlier. If the real exchange rate E sub R is 1, meaning the domestic item and the similar foreign item cost the same, the actual exchange rate E should be equal to the purchasing power parity, PPP. Let's go over the definitions and formulae one more time the actual exchange rate, purchasing power parity, over or under variation of foreign currency, real exchange rate, the relationship between actual exchange rate, real exchange rate, and purchasing power parity. Everything one more time.